Welcome to the SDS Page Analysis Tutorial for the Unscan at Jail software. This tutorial will step you through the process of analyzing an SDS page image using the Unscan at Jail software. A startup screen will appear when the software is opened and a pop-up menu will allow you to analyze a gel. This option can also be selected from the main Analyze Gel menu or the Analyze Toolbar. The Unscan at Jail software can analyze a number of different image formats including TIFF, JPEG, Bitmap, GIF, and PNG formats. The image can come from a scanner, digital camera, imager, internet, email, or other image source. The image to be analyzed should have the lanes or bands migrating in the vertical direction on the image. For this tutorial we will choose a sample JPEG image file. There are several gel analysis modes available including lane analysis, segment analysis, and dot blot analysis. We will choose lane analysis mode for this tutorial. These modes are explained further by clicking the question mark button associated with each mode. Multiple gel analysis options will be presented and you can choose the options that best fit your gel analysis needs. For most gel images, the color mode selected should be grayscale intensity to yield the best results. The default options are acceptable for this image tutorial. These options are explained further by clicking the question mark button associated with each option. The next screen is where you will draw the lane or segment boxes of interest on your gel image. For this example, we will be drawing lane boxes. General instructions will be presented at the bottom of the screen. You can use the zoom toolbar option to increase or decrease the zoom level of the main image. Since we are using lane analysis mode, we will draw a lane box that encompasses the entire first lane. You should generally draw the box starting above the top band and extending below the bottom band and wide enough to include all the bands in that lane. You can draw the lanes individually or use the copy button on the toolbar. The boxes can be resized or moved by hovering the mouse over the box and dragging the box. After all the boxes are placed on the image, click the Analyze button in the lower right corner of the screen. The Unscan at Gel software will then analyze each lane which allows you to quantify each of the bands. Since we are using lane analysis mode, a density profile screen will be displayed for each lane. General information regarding the density profile can be displayed by clicking the question mark button at the bottom of the density profile. Additional details regarding the density profile screen will be discussed in another video on our Silk Scientific channel. The Unscan at Gel software will attempt to automatically identify the peaks which are associated with each band in the lane. Peak baselines can be added or deleted using the buttons located at the bottom of the density profile. In the first lane, the marker lane, there is a fair amount of noise which caused several smaller peak baselines to be identified. Therefore, we can simply delete all the peak baselines and add back in the major peak baselines manually. The endpoints of each of the peak baselines should be located at the local minima at the edges of the peaks. You can use your mouse to drag the baselines to the desired locations.
After all the peaks and baselines have been assigned, click the Quantify Peaks button. The software will visually display and store the area above the background that is assigned for each peak in that lane. Click the Continue button to continue to the next lane density profile and follow the same procedure to define the peaks and baselines for that lane. For this example, we are only interested in the primary peak for each of the sample lanes. After all the bands have been analyzed, the results screen will be displayed. Clicking the column headings will display a description of the data in that column. We can also use the results spreadsheet to create a molecular weight calibration curve using values from the marker lane. Enter two or more of the known molecular weight values for the marker lane in the results spreadsheet. Then choose the molecular weight calculation method from the options menu. The remaining molecular weight values will be estimated using the molecular weight calculation method selected to estimate the values of the sample bands. The molecular weight calibration curve can be displayed by selecting the Show Molecular Weight button. After the analysis is complete, the analyzed data can then be saved to a data file or copied to the clipboard. The data can then be pasted into Excel or any other spreadsheet or data analysis program. Thank you for watching our SDS page analysis tutorial using the Unscan at Jail software. Additional video tutorials are available on our Silk Scientific channel. For more information regarding the Unscan at Jail software, please visit the website shown here or contact us directly if you need any additional information.